Have you ever wondered that you can run several different operating systems like Mac OS, Ubuntu, Kali Linux, etc. in your PC itself without even uninstalling your official operating system? And if you are a tech geek or a developer, I bet you surely do. In today's video, we are going to create virtual computers within your PC in which you can run Ubuntu. So if you also want to try it out, then please consider liking this video and help me to reach 1000 likes on this video so now without further ado let's start but first of all we need to look upon some minimum requirements to run ubuntu in your virtual box 7 because it is necessary so first of all there should be a minimum ram of 4 gb and secondary minimum 25 gb of free disk space should be available to store files and third minimum two core cpu is a must and fourth ubuntu iso image which we are going to see that how we can download in this video and in the last virtual box with its extension pack if you do not have virtual box installed in your computer or its extension pack i have already made a video on it so you can easily check it out from the description and from the i button itself now you need to open your preferred browser in which we are going to install our ubuntu iso image so i am going to open my chrome and here you need to search ubuntu iso image yes ubuntu iso image and that's it press enter and here you can see the first link is coming up which is from ubuntu's official website saying download ubuntu desktop so let's click on it uh, here our page is open like this and the interface is going to be similar to this so i am going to scroll down a little bit and here you can see two different versions of the ubuntu but you need to install the first one which is saying ubuntu 22.04.3 lts okay so i am going to click here on download and this page is going to open in front of me but what am i seeing right now it is having some kind of issue in here so what you need to do is to simply go back and to the google home screen and you need to revisit the same website so i am going to scroll it down and here click again on download button and as soon as this page open you can see here the download now button so you just need to right click on it and click on open link in new tab so automatically your file is going to be in a download section easily so here you can see my files are downloading i need to cancel it because i have already listed it as my downloading file and and you can see here that it is of nearly 4.7 GB and generally ISO images do take some storage so you need to open your ISO image in your file explorer so I am going to locate it in my file explorer and let's cut it and let's put it in a different folder so let's create a new folder here and I'll give it a name of Ubuntu and paste the ISO image now you need to minimize all the things and I am going here to start bar just type here Oracle VM virtual box so your application is going to appear itself so I am going to click on it and open it so it's a general interface of virtual box manager and here you can see that I have Kali installed in my computer and I have also created video on this so now we need to add our new machine here which is going to be Ubuntu so here you can see the option of new so I am going to click on it to add my new machine here and you have to provide it a specific name and it is asking me for the location where I want to put my Ubuntu ISO image and the operating system itself. I am going to choose it manually from my file explorer so let's see. So I have selected my specific folder named Ubuntu which I had just created. Now here's a section of ISO image so you have to locate your ISO image which we have downloaded of Ubuntu. I need to go to my e drive and here you can see ubuntu folder where we have placed our iso image so i am going to select on it and press ok so now our process on this page is completed here and you can see the type and the version of it it is selected automatically and you cannot change it so now here you have to click on next here so now you will be able to see your username and password and i would like to advise that you should save it right here so you can easily log in into it when your ubuntu is going to run because you need to log in it with your username and the given password so i am going to click on next 
and now it's turn of our hardware which is saying base memory so it is going to be your ram and i would suggest to be it under the green mark where you can select your memory up to the green mark and here you can see the processor next so let's say i am going to keep it to three but you have to make sure that you are under the green spot so after selecting the hardware for my virtual computer i am going to press on next and here you can see the virtual hard disk which is going to be our main storage so i would suggest to keep it to nearly 30 gb and let's press next now our summary of virtual machine is visible right here so you can see that it is our ubuntu 64 bit and our base memory is nearly 6 gb and processor is of three cores if you are okay with it you can select on finish and you can also further edit it if you want so as soon as i press finish it is automatically going to open my ubuntu machine and the process of installing ubuntu is being initiated by itself so now here you can see the logo of ubuntu and it would be going to take some time and here you can see this kind of image and now our installing pop-up is visible which is saying that verifying the installation configuration and it will also make some kind of weird noise so now we need to wait for it so let it process fully and here our next pop-up is saying welcome to ubuntu so it's a great start and by the way i would like to tell that you have saved a ton of manual processes and hectic procedures due to its latest version because in its previous version you have to do a lot of things manually that may overwhelm you so easily since you have to maintain some patience because it is an operating system and operating system generally do take some time so just let's skip to the next window and here you can see that i am having error from the virtual box side which is saying me that the error has occurred during virtual machine execution and here in the details it is given that my disk is full oh my god i did not even check my storage before so now I need to relocate my Ubuntu folder so that I can proceed into my process easily. So let's do it quickly. Now I open my explorer and here you can see that I have left with 468 KB which means my hard disk is a total full. So I need to relocate. But firstly if any error occurs uh, then you need to close your virtual box first. And here I have tried to close my virtual box but it's not happening. So the other thing you can do is to open your task manager and here you can see my virtual box is running right here. So you just need to right click on it and here you can see end task option. So I am going to click on it which eventually closed my Ubuntu installation window. And here you can see my Ubuntu status is saying aborted. Now I have to restart my machine again. So, so you can see the start option at the top here. So I am going to click on it. So the whole process running right here is automatic. So now our Ubuntu logo has been appeared and it's a good news for you because our installation is nearly completed. Here you can see that our virtual box is open right now and here you need to put your password in here. So now my username is showing right here which is vbox user and so I am going to click on my username and here it is showing the password option. So I am going to open my screenshot and my password is visible right now. As soon as I enter my password my Ubuntu is installed perfectly and it is its home page and it is working well and good. It is asking me to connect my online account so you can easily connect with your Google or my Microsoft if you want I am going to press on next and uh, here to enable Ubuntu Pro so it is asking me for its uh, professional version of it so I do not want to install it right now so I am going to click on skip for now and press next and now our next screen is related to Ubuntu's feedback and help section and when I am pressing next here is your privacy and asking for location services I want to leave it as default and now here are the most common applications which are being used into the Ubuntu Ubuntu operating system that's why it is asking me to download it but I do not want it right now so I am going to press on done and yeah our Ubuntu is perfectly installed in our desktop and you can easily access it using your virtual box machine. So now we have come to an end of our video and if this tutorial was helpful to you please consider liking this video and subscribe to the channel for more such interesting videos. Until then peace out.